Hey what's up guys Rana here and this is the must watch video for WordPress user because in this video we're gonna look at how hackers hack people's website. Well there could be different ways they're trying to hack people's website but mainly they look at the unsecured path so that they can enter inside your website and they can have your WordPress website username and password without your permission which is unacceptable for anyone right so we are going to scale that path so that they cannot enter inside your website and your website will be secure all the sensitive information will be secure as well so guys let's get started and let me show you how you can secure your wordpress website so guys like i said earlier hackers look for a unsecured path right so how do we know that what is the unsecured path of our website well that is the main page the main door of your website which is a login page of your wordpress dashboard if hackers have the access to open that page it would be easier for them to hack your website but in this video we are going to block that page so that nobody can have the access to open your wordpress dashboard login page so how do we do that if you're wondering let me show you what i mean by that if i open a new tab you know how to log in your WordPress dashboard, right? You just simply type your domain and type slash WP dash admin. This is the one way. And next you type login, your domain slash login and press enter. It will open a login page of dashboard. If hackers can have the access to open this page, the same page right here, they can open your website without even know your username and password. I don't know how they do that but they can enter inside your website if we hide this main door of your website it would be hard for them extremely hard for them to hack your website okay so how are we gonna hide this page or block this page from hackers well first of all let's head over to your dashboard let's log in type your username and password and log in so now we are inside your dashboard now you need to install a plugin Let's head over to your plugins and click on add new and now come over here under the search bar and search for WPS hide. Now you need to install this plugin WPS hide login. Click on install now. After that click on activate. All right. Now plugin has been successfully installed. Now head over to settings. Click on general. Now scroll down and you will see a new option over here. WPS hide login. So here you can see a login URL which is by default your domain name slash login. But we want to change this URL. Type something special, something unique keyword over here. Okay, so that only you know about it. Let's type king and then type something like unique number. Type 56. You can type anything that only you know about it okay after that click on save changes so guys here you can see this would be your new login url okay now i'm gonna log out okay let's close this tab now let's open a new tab again and if i type the same url if i type my domain and type login press enter and you can see this page this page does not uh, seems to exist okay something like that there is a no login page anymore well you think that if we try with WP dash admin WP dash admin okay what's going to happen is same outcome okay this page does not seems to exist well with that being done nobody can have the access to open your login page of your dashboard but only you can have the access to open your wordpress login page let's delete this one and type your unique code over here which is king56 and press enter there you go guys this is your login page only you know by going to this link you can access this page okay here you can type your username and password and then you can log in all right guys that's the pretty much it so guys this is a one of the most important steps you need to take 
immediately to secure your website. If you seek more information about secure a website, then make sure leave a comment in the comment section below and make sure guys share this video to your friends, your colleagues who run WordPress website so that they can take benefit from this video. Alright guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. So that being said, goodbye and I'll catch you guys next time.